there's a special name when you have y equals the slope, and I'm going to put, instead of a, a number there, I'm just going to put the letter m. That's the slope, followed by the x variable, plus, I'm just going to put a b here. The number on the end is called the y-intercept. Okay? I'm not going to write the whole thing out, it's a big word. And this whole thing, this form, when you write an equation that has something and then an x plus a number, is called the slope intercept. I'm not going to write the whole word intercept now since this is a, a new word. Slope intercept form or slope intercept equation. Okay? And it, they often use the letter m for the slope and the B for the y-intercept. Okay, this has been a pretty long video. You've hung in there really well. But just to make sure that you were listening, if I show you this, y equals 3x plus 5. If I asked you what's the slope, you should quickly say the slope's 3. If I say what's the y-intercept, you should say it's 5. If I told you to graph this thing, if I told you to graph it, you could just draw one of these and say, okay, y-intercept is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a dot right there. Is this graph going to rise or is it going to fall? It's going to rise because there's a 3 there. So the rise is 3. By the way, it's invisible, but 3 is really 3 over 1 it's really the same thing as saying 3 divided by 1. Because we want to rise, we want to run, and it wasn't showing any run. So, uh, and we don't want any bad jokes about runs here. And uh, so anyway, 3 over 1. 1, 2, 3 up, and 1 across, right there. And this graph is going to go this direction right there. We've just graphed it. Okay? So, let's try another one. y equals negative 2x plus 4. If I said to graph this, you'd say, this is easy. All I have to do is go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a dot. That's my y-intercept. I'm done that part. Do that part first. Negative 2. Hmm, that's the slope. It's a negative slope, so it's going to be going down. But I want the rise and the run. I don't see the run here. Well, all you do is put the number over 1, negative 2 over 1. So you go, instead of up 2, go down 2 and across 1. And then connect the dots, just like you did when you were little. And there's our graph. Okay, see how quick this gets If once you figure this stuff out? Uh-oh, we've got a white screen here. You could get an equation like this, y equals 3x, and notice there is no plus anything on the end or minus anything on the end. If you wanted to, you could say it's a plus zero on the end. But really, all you need is this showing in order to give you a graph. And whenever you don't have anything on the end, like plus something or minus something, it's an example of direct variation. So it's going to be a line that, well, in this case, it's a positive slope. And it's going to be starting right here. It's going to go up three and across 1. So it really, I guess, could be like this. That's called direct variation, and that's what this particular graph would do. y equals uh, 3 over 4 x minus 5. If you had to graph this, what would you do? Okay, this time I'm going to go like this and say, okay, start with the y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's our first dot. That's the y-intercept, it down at the negative 5. Now it says 3 over 4. So that's 3 up. That's our rise. And 4 across. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And 4 across. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. We've just graphed it. I don't know if you realize how much you have done in this video. You may want to restart it. You may want to throw the computer out the window right now, but we have pushed through a lot of information here. You figured out what the slope 
intercept form of an equation is. And we're even talking about how to graph it. But I just wanted you to see how quick it is to do this stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll find something at Khan Academy or something so you can practice this now because that really is what this is all about now is just practicing, okay? Whew. This is the longest video of the bunch. Congratulations.